With health care for hundreds of thousands of people at stake, new polling today shows broad support mm -hmm. for North Carolina expanding Medicaid coverage. The issue never got resolved last year. However, state law lawmakers say that it's going to be a key focus again this year. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland joining us now live in Raleigh here tonight with a closer look at what voters think about this. Michael. It, this poll shows there's overwhelming support for North Carolina to expand Medicaid. Republican legislative leaders have changed their position on this. They now back doing that, but they don't agree on exactly how. A major change impacting health care in North Carolina is a top issue in the new legislative session. Finish the job with this issue and, and make a deal. Lucy Dagnew is with the American Cancer Society's Cancer Action Network, which is urging lawmakers to expand Medicaid coverage. North Carolina lawmakers have an opportunity for a slam dunk. Even running ads last year trying to pressure Republicans to act before the last session ended. About 600,000 low-income people in North Carolina would gain coverage. The group released a new poll Tuesday showing 78% of voters support taking this step, which 39 other states already have done. In North Carolina, 96% of Democrats are in favor, 71% of unaffiliated voters, and 64% of Republicans. North Carolinians are ready for the legislature to get this done. There's been a lot of debate over the years, there's been a lot of conversation, and they're looking for action. Medicaid expansion in and of itself does nothing about health care supply. Mitch Kokai is with the conservative John Locke Foundation, which opposes expansion, raising concerns about adequate access to care and the cost. When you have a federal government that's multi-trillion dollars in debt, that at some point they're going to decide that the feds can't cover 90 percent of the ex uh, of the bill for expansion. Senate Republicans want to include various reforms to address supply issues, which House Republicans never took up last year. The federal government is offering an initial incentive of more than a billion dollars. So we want to make sure that whatever we do is cognizant of that. There are some deadlines approaching that we take advantage of that because that's one of the key things that makes it financially work. This is among several major issues that Republicans say they want to tackle this year. They haven't said yet just how soon they want to try to pass a bill dealing with this, though. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.